As we commemorate the Day of the African Child, we do recognize the wide information gap on the harmful practices against children and the extent to which they affect children countrywide. These harmful practices are a violation of human rights and fundamental freedoms. These practices cover various forms of rituals, discrimination, and even violence. The sad and regrettable situation is that in some communities, the people are indifferent about such practices. It is not a big deal if such retrogressive practices are happening. Despite all the progress that has been made in the legal and justice system, it is not surprising to hear children being married off at a very young, at very young ages, even nine years old. We've heard of FGM, which is still happening in this day and age, child labor, parents or caregivers refusing to take their children to school or even to hospital because of uh, some retrogressive beliefs and cultural practices. And this cuts across both boys and girls. Such harmful practices greatly affect the development of children and sometimes even lead to loss of lives. So therefore, ensuring that no child undergoes any harmful practices is a high priority issue and requires a multi-stakeholder approach. Thankfully, the civil society organization, organizations have made tremendous efforts over time and has been collaborating with the government and other national child agencies to conduct civil education across different counties. Through this collaboration, community dialogues have been initiated. We have also planned mentorship activities for boys and girls. The CSOs have been involved in quarterly county and sub-county area advisory council meetings. Alongside the government, the civil society organizations have trained up to 109 child protection volunteers and other stakeholders in child protection. These educational drives have been crucial in enlightening communities about the harmful practices and the long-term detrimental effects of children. We have also given former perpetrators of such harmful practices, an opportunity to share their experience and their light bulb moments on the effects of such practices. Their advocacy messages have played a crucial role in changing perceptions and initiating change from the grassroots level. The civil society organizations have set up 94 rescue centers in Kajiado County, with 52 of them registered by the National Council of Children's Services. These rescue centers have assisted in protecting and providing psychosocial support to children who have been exposed to harmful practices. The government, through the relevant child protection agencies, also works on the reintegration process of the affected children in the community. The CSOs have been involved in influencing policy and have been actively involved in the review process of the Children Act. This has entailed having representation in the National Steering Committee, mobilizing children culturewide, and to give their views uh, and giving input in the drafting process. Through this work, the Children Bill was published in October 2021 and is currently before Parliament awaiting approval. We are confident that continued collaboration between the different CSOs and the agencies will deliver timely intervention measures to ensure that children and youth are protected from harmful practices. We would like to thank the government for its commitment towards addressing such practices and support uh, that it continues to extend to the CSOs through the National Council of Children's Services. We also appreciate all community stakeholders, such as teachers, the community elders, who have bravely lobbied in policy and practices for the elimination of these harmful practices as you've had. We appreciate the synergy we have developed over the years and commit ourselves to creating an enabling environment for our children to grow and thrive in their God-given potential. As some tennis are.